Sergio, a huge win for you, obviously, tonight. I mean, how big is it to get a win over a guy like Joseph Benavidez, number one in the division? I mean, this has got to be the biggest win of your career, right? Definitely the biggest win of my career so far. Uh, I said that a lot of times, so we'll see how big I can get. You dropped him in the first round. Obviously, you knew Joseph had come off a long layoff. Was that kind of the game plan to have a strong start like that to really come after him and see, you know, how he was going to react after 18 months away? Uh, no, I mean, honestly, the game plan was just to go out there and strike the guy. I'll strike him and do what I'm good at. He came at me really hard, so I hit him a lot harder than what I thought I was going to. Um, definitely wanted to go out there and get a finish, you know, I'm against number one. And I've been getting these decision wins, so that's something that i got to improve on and get better at as I grow. What did you think of the decision? Split decision? Did you think you had it, or were you nervous? I was nervous, obviously, man. Uh, anytime it goes to the judges, you never know who's judging the fight. And he did have some uh, good cage control and some takedowns in there, so I didn't know how they were going to judge it. Uh, definitely hit him with a lot of precise shots, and you could see in his face that I was hitting clean and hitting him mean. Um, you know what, I kind of took off a little bit on him, like I, I hit him with that strike and I know Joe is very dangerous, especially when he is hurt, so, um, you know, I, I hit him hard and I kind of played it safe a little bit, definitely should have uh, ambushed him a little bit and tried to get the finish. Um, I'm just a smart fighter out there, man, I, I'm very uh, calculated with my strikes, I take very calculated risk, and that's just something that I've been doing my whole life, point fighting, so, um, you know, it's something that I, I, I want to improve on and get better at, I'm excited to show you guys the more I grow into the sport. I mean, I could have finished it. I don't regret it because I got the win, but uh, I'm sure if I would have lost, I'd regret it. And so, as of now, I don't regret it. I got the W. Obviously, your first time fighting in, in, in an actual fight, I think it changed the fact that you have been watching him. Did that seem like the same, Joseph, uh, considering the layoff and the injury? How would you assess him? I think he did good, man. I think he went out there and he, he fought someone that was different. You know, he's used to fighting guys that are going to wrestle with him and getting these close brawls, these close little strange brawls. And uh, I went out there and maintained range and I uh, showed him what range fighting was about. You also said that uh, recently that the fight against was one of the more frustrating hits in yes. your career. Does that experience make you appreciate a moment like this or remember Joseph? hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, um, that, that night was just a bad night for me. I went out there and got in my head and got glued to the floor. Uh, tonight you guys saw my improvement, you know, against Cejudo, I mean against Benavidez, so definitely a learning lesson that I'm going to take with me for the rest of my career and keep growing, like I said, as I grow up in the sport. I'm only 24 years old, body willing and God willing, let's see how long I can take this and see how far I can really take this sport. So what are you going to do 100%, that's what I want. I mean, that's what Benavidez was looking forward to after this fight. I went out here and got the job done, and I believe that's what's next for me. Uh, I just have one more, sorry. In the past, you said, like, I'm there, but I'm not, maybe I'll do one more for DJ. It's just the, the right timing now, I believe. Uh, I'm growing up, man. I'm up to 25. I got goals that I set for myself that I want to accomplish. And by 26, I want to have a belt around my, my waist. Um, so we'll see. You know, I hope I can keep doing what I'm doing and just keep improving. Right now, it's just having fun with it, man. You know, I was putting a lot of pressure on myself in the beginning of my career. Putting a lot of pressure that I had to take these big fights and win these big fights. And now things are coming at the right time. And the right maturity as myself and the right growth in the sport, I think. Uh, like I said, it's, it's just everything's playing out perfect. Earlier this week, Dana said he wanted to go back to the old ways. Uh, your brother said he wanted to keep the early ones. I didn't get a chance to talk to him media day. Uh, what are your thoughts? On I hope two? it doesn't go back to the old ways. Uh, Nine o'clock is better, you know. It just makes the athletes have to be more strict on the timing. You know, this is the weight cuts. They're always tough, but we got to get it done. And if it's time from nine to eleven, why not? Four o'clock, you only get less than twenty-four hours to rehydrate, and the brain needs, I think, seventy-two hours to completely rehydrate. So. It's safer for the fighters from 9 to 11, I believe, so I hope they don't do that. Thank you guys. Appreciate